For you personally, I mean, what was it about, about Ellen and her story and her history that kind of drew you, drew you to her specifically? Well, she's so mercurial and uh, I mean, she's so deeply layered. She's a survivor and she is um, surviving in a world where she would have might, maybe loved a bit of male protection. Um, but Red, the love of her life, has kind of lost his mojo. He's had it beaten out of him and drained out of him through the... the colonial prison system and from constant um, harassment for, of the establishment and the troopers and Ellen is she's becomes a matriarch and is the fighter for the family and uh, she has this great love of her family and of Red and of what it means to be a Kelly and she is uh, she's going to raise her children to survive and she will survive and she'll raise her children to be loyal and she doesn't want to be left alone. I was going to ask you as well, obviously we spoke about George, but the, the young actor that plays young Ned Kelly as well, you get to spend some time with him. I, I wondered what it was like working with both of them, seeing them bring different interpretations and different uh, portions in Ned's life and what it was like seeing them perform. Well, uh, fantastic. I mean. Orlando tried to come and watch as much as George was doing and George was there every day that Orlando was on and I was there with all of them all of the time. Um, and they worked so beautifully and I think have a kind of similar kind of innocent spirit that is uh, that really bonds them as well. And we did a lot of work with um, Red Kelly, who's uh, Ben Corbett, who I think I mentioned is in a punk band called Six Foot Hick. He's never acted before and he um, he did this, he does this amazing kind of jujitsu, self-flagellating uh, punk dancing with his brother in this band, Six Foot Hick. And so George and Orlando and I were being trained by Ben in his dancing when, whenever the boys were playing their punk music in rehearsals. Ben and George and Orlando and I were doing our our punkest, coolest jiu-jitsu self-flagellating dancing together <laughs> and um, and you know Orlando was quite little and like a, he was a very young little boy when when we first started and he's I think he's grown incredibly because of the process of making this film. I just finally I mean what are you hoping UK audiences take away because it's it's a legend that's very big in Australia over here maybe not so much but you're hoping that they learn a bit from from this also are entertained at the same time I think that it's such an extraordinary film I think um, I just want them to experience it to be awakened by it to have, go on a wild ride that they are not expecting and to just enjoy going to see this film I don't know that it's an important history lesson. I think it's an important thing about owning your own story. Love to see you again. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.